Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, you may want to skip off dry brush and not just do it right in order um, because you do need a dry brush to do dry brush. Um, you can try drying out your brush using a paper towel. Um, I happen to have my own watercolor brushes, so I'm just going to use a fresh brush. You can always start with this one or you can do it kind of later or you can dry out your brush. You can try it out different ways, but dry brush is you want a wet watercolor. So the one nice thing about doing this after the other colors is that you want your, and I'm gonna use my wet brush already to activate this, this orange some more. You want your paint activated. So, so I need to mix some water into that paint so it's activated. And I'll go over here and wash out my brush, put it back. And then I'm going to take a dry brush and just pick up some of that paint. Dry brush. Uh, maybe that's a little that's a little too wet still. Uh, let me see if I can dry it a little bit. Dry brush looks very textury. Uh, this paper doesn't dry brush very well. But see how it is kind of the, the kind of thing that you would not necessarily want. Like your art teacher probably in, in, in middle elementary school probably said, no, don't do that. I know I typically very frequently say that. But what you wanted, you, what you might want to use this for is something like a texture. So you want your brush to be kind of dry, so you get kind of those brush strokey looks that otherwise would look kind of bad. Um, so that is what dry brush is. The other thing that I kind of lumped in with dry brush is what I call scumbling. Um, and scumbling is when you kind of dry brush on top of dry brush with different colors. So I'm reactivating that red and then washing out my brush. I'm gonna need to clean out my water, you can see. And I'm picking up some of that with it. And then if I scumble or dry brush one layer on top of another, what you what you get is kind of this, this look of things going kind of on top of each other. Let me clean that red brush out a little bit. Yeah, so if I completely dry brush, well, that kind of works. Um, so I that's dry brush into dry paint, and I'm getting I'm getting that look a little bit too. But what scumbling is is taking that lighter color and putting it on top of the dark or darker colors on top of darker colors and kind of layering it um, in kind of layered dry brush. That is really good for trees in the background, especially when you do it with different shades of green. 